the ISU has started big changes. Unusual requirements will complicate the life of Tutwards' students and endanger the existence of ice dancing. Updating the rules in any sport is a laborious process, but it seems that the ISU decided otherwise and followed a simple path. The requirements introduced by officials will greatly facilitate the task for both athletes and judges, but at the same time they will jeopardize those who are willing to work hard and move the discipline forward. The merits of the Tutbirds girls will not be appreciated now, but any mistake will be reflected in the assessments. Dancing on ice is even sadder, the species may be on the verge of extinction. And it's not even about jumping, which has not been in dancing for centuries. The offseason in figure skating is in full swing. While athletes are going on well-deserved vacations, officials continue to work and prepare for the start of the new competitive year. The International Skating Union has seriously taken up the adaptation of the old rules and introduced several significant changes. The judges were instructed to be more strict about the difficulty levels on various elements. For example, in the tracks of steps, more attention will be paid to the number and variety of non-standard and difficult-to-perform combinations. At the same time, a restriction has been introduced on repetitions of combinations of steps and turns of increased complexity, this is possible only once in two places of the program. A vivid illustration of the new policy is that either a difficult entry or exit will be counted in the spins, it will not work to get bonuses for both. In fact, this makes it easier for many athletes who are not used to performing elements at the maximum but it will also hit those who always build programs with an unusual choreographic pattern. Obviously, in the Atari Tutbirds group, where all the skaters are famous for non-standard dance transitions and jumping approaches, they will have to reconsider their principles because the efforts of athletes will not be marked with additional points. Will the new requirements hit the Tutbirds skaters? The pupils of the crystal will also have to be wary because of the changes in the GO assessment scale. The ice who added penalty points of allowances for changing the edge between jumps in the cascade. The reductions will range from one to two points. Camila Valiva was convicted of such a thing, whose technique raises questions from Western experts. They noticed the tightening of the figure skater, forgetting that the structure of her body, very long legs, creates an optical illusion and enhances the feeling that Tutbirds' student deliberately slows down the process of performing the second jump in the cascade in order to have time to change the edge. Camila has quite long levers by nature, she will swing for now, this will be a delay and a roll, so you can reach the point of absurdity in this digging. I think even if with the help of these new amendments, Camila will be marked in the cascade with the wrong rhythm, and something will be reduced, it will not significantly affect anything, the gap is too big, honored coach Inna Goncharenko gave a professional comment on this, also stating that Russian figure skaters jump qualitatively without touching the ice, which is also now a mistake. This happens extremely rarely, when performing ultra sea cascades, these include the lutz ritberger combination. Since the start of the second element takes place almost from the spot, it is very difficult for a skater to gain height and twist speed in order to successfully make a multi-turn jump, then the athlete can stealthily shift weight to the free leg in order to improve support. Of the famous athletes, Anna Shcherbakova and Yuma Kajiyama fall under the current sanctions. At the same time, it should be noted that the Olympic champion had no serious flaws in the technique, which cannot be said about the Japanese singles player who had problems with his crown cascade flip Ritberger. The last, but not the most important change, they will now be fined for a bad break from the ice. This is a situation when an athlete pushes off with an edge on jagged jumps while performing an extra turn on the ice. Such a mistake is quite common in figure skating even in Tutbirds' headquarters, there are those who are accused of poor technique, recently a barrage of criticism fell on the young Alist Boglazova, who jumped at a quad Lutz training, but up to this point she was preferred to ignore. Despite significant changes in single sports, a real revolution is being prepared in ice dancing. The new choreographic element available to athletes is called jumping with the help of an assisting partner. At first glance, this combination contradicts the primordial traditions of this discipline, but this is not entirely true. 
athletes will be asked to perform a series of three jumps, no more than one and a half turns. Of the restrictions, no more than three steps between the elements and the separation time on each of them is within three seconds. It is not worth worrying about the fact that ice dancing will sink into oblivion in the form in which we know them now. Bettina Popova explained that such jumps were already present in the skaters' programs at the entrances and exits from the supports. This was confirmed by Alexander Julin, who was glad that such a chip would now be evaluated by the arbitrators. Anastasia Skopsova said that jumping will not be a mandatory element but will act only as an optional addition to the choreographic drawing, adding that the dancers will not have any similarities with single and pair skating. No, 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 it's all nonsense. These jumps are optional. If these were the described jumps, Lutz, sheepskin coat, flip, salkow, axle, then it would probably be worth thinking about. I think it will be modified somehow, but I'm sure there will be no jumping in ice dancing. I mean those jumps that we know, triple, quadruple Lutz, sheepskin coats, axles and so on. I do not know what should happen for this, given that it seems to me that the ice who generally wants to reduce the importance of jumping in single skating, the athlete said in an interview with SPORT24. Nevertheless, the dancers have cause for alarm. The fact that the pattern part was removed in the Masters suggests that figure skating will change beyond recognition. The global problem associated with this innovation is that without a school, it will be easier for duets to hide flaws in technique and sliding. Athletes will be able to choose the most convenient elements and will stop working out those that are sagging for them. From the point of view of figure skaters, this makes their task easier, but at the same time the overall level of ice dancing will noticeably decrease. The most interesting thing is something else, you are all interested in jumping, and the revolution is happening in the rhythm dance. I won't call it scary, but for me as a student of Svetlana Lvovna Alexeva, who has always been an adherent of the basics of figure skating, school, base, we do basic exercises every offseason, there used to be a school, these circles, the trail of which you go around with a skate. There was a whole species that was evaluated. In figure skating, after all, you can disguise anything. In an arbitrary dance, somewhere else you can hide something with staging, costumes, something else. But when all the pairs as one begin to take the same steps in the same positions, the difference is immediately visible, it is immediately clear who knows how to hold a position, and who does not, it is immediately clear who is sliding. It immediately distinguished those who really ride well, complained about the new rules of the Skopsova. The effectiveness of ISU solutions or its absence will be noticeable only after some time but at the moment it seems that the next requirements for the elements are not quite adequate and will cause more damage to athletes than good.